Hi, I'm makeup artist Sofiano. Get ready because today I'm gonna show you what's inside my pro makeup kit. Yay. Do keep in mind that depending on the job, my kit might change a little bit. When it comes to packing, I try to be very organized. I try to strategize where everything goes just because for me personally that way it makes the whole unpacking packing process a little bit easier a little bit faster i usually tend to sort products out by category i have a kit just for body face lips eyes and most of the time i carry my setback in my backpack the backpack my backpack and sometimes i also do carry lights because we all need to, to see. So some places can be very dark and dungy. This is my Samsonite luggage. And I like the fact that it's metallic green. Swear to God, especially when you're traveling, you know, you're on the plane and you have to go and pick up your luggage and there's so many black luggages. Uh, this one is metallic green and this one pops out. So it makes the whole process a lot faster and bada bim bada boom, you're in and you are out. I also like the fact that it's very light prior to putting makeup inside because then it gets very heavy and sturdy and the dual spinner wheel you guys spectacular it makes everything easier to maneuver but wait there is more uh, this luggage has zipper locks that means that when traveling you're the only one that has access to it and the TSA nobody else Last but not least, it's expandable. Enough with the chit chat, let's get into it. Over here I have my face kit, my body, my skincare, and on the other side I have my towels, uh, brushes, more brushes, uh, creamy, creamy eye products, highlighter, eyeshadows, and brush holder over here i have some straws very important especially if your clients or models wearing bulk <laughs> colors you don't want it to get everywhere when they're drinking there is a container i believe i bought this at michael's very affordable and inside i have different mascara ones um q-tips of different sizes next is a uh, first kit aid it's a mini one just in case of emergencies and i have some you know uh, individual eye drops individual eye drops advil band-aids dental relief i guess it's a painkiller i also have some hydrogen peroxide for wounds and you know i live in new york and it gets very cold over here so i make sure to pack some heat therapy patches you can buy a duane reed or I bought this in Japan. Over here, oops, we got false lashes. I have an assortment of individual or, and strict lashes. One of my favorite um, lashes right now are from Kiss and they're called Chiffon. They kind of give you that mink 3D wispy effect. And although they may look a little bit more dramatic in the packaging, once you have them on, they look so natural and they just give you that extra little pop. I had to change camera angles so that you can see a little bit better. This is where I store my skincare. Love this little guy over here. I believe it's a face roller. It just gets the blood circulation going. Very nice. Over here I have a bunch of um, lip balms. I particularly like this one by Mario Badescu. It's unscented, it's buttery, it's moisturizing, it gets the job done. I have a few masks, eye mask by Skin Iceland, love it. Um, blotting paper. And then just a palette to mix, you know, um, foundation. Cleansing water or toner by Skin Iceland, which I really love. I always like to start with a clean canvas. So before applying makeup, I always like to clean the face with this guy over here. It's very easy. You just press down and you know, the liquid comes um, up. Easy to use, love it. 
It's a makeup remover by Bioderma, wonderful brand. More makeup remover by Bioderma, and this is unscented. I know that a lot of people have a reaction to scented makeup remover, so this is safe and very gentle. These are two of my favorite um, shine control creams. I usually use them while doing male grooming and you just really, all you need is a little, it's a little amount and you dab it on the problematic area to prevent it from shining. I have this lash curler by um, Surat Beauty and Shiseido. I like it because it's very white. It gets all the lashes, especially the one in the inner corner and it gives them a nice curl. Hand sanitizer by Dr. Browners. It smells like lavender, very soothing, very calming. At the moment, I'm using these two wonderful creams. One is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's called Magic Cream, which is great. And another one is by Lancome Absolute. And I love, love, love this one. It's great for sensitive skin and it gives it a, a beautiful, gorgeous glow. I have some um, eye creams over here and I really like to apply them on the bottom area because you know on the on the eyelid it gets too greasy and it can get a little bit too messy. Dun, da, da, da. This is where my face kit lives. I may have to change oops the angle because everything is falling apart. Here is my Rowenson case, you guys. These are predominantly face uh, products that I have in here. The foundation are um, MAC Face and Body, which I consolidated into these squeezable small um, Neoji bottles. I use a pea toucher to label them so that I know which color is which. These foundations are sheer, lightweight, and they can be layered for more coverage. And I really like the skin-like finish that it offers. I have a lot of concealers right here. I have Fenty, Iconic, Makeup Forever, quite a nice range of colors over here. And I also use MAC quite often. This is almost done. Now, Huda Beauty concealer are, are quite pigmented very rich but they dry a little bit fast so you need to work quickly with this shiseido has some lovely concealer they're very easy to apply they're smooth they're creamy and they're long lasting one of my favorite more huda beauty products over here these are the baked loose powders and they really help keeping the makeup last a little longer they blend very well and they blur pores and fine lines uh, moving on to bronzers uh, these are from fenty beauty and they instantly bring the skin to life you can use them as a contour as blush as or even you know on your eyelids and i love love that they go on very smoothly more liquid foundations over here these are fenty pro filter hydrating foundations and i really love that this brand is inclusive and offers a vast range of colors because that's what we need these are the fenty matchsticks you can literally use them for everything. I mean, concealer, contour, highlighter, and the packaging, you guys, is genius. It's magnetic, so everything locks in place. Yes, I have a lighter to make my dried up uh, pencil a little bit more creamy, because sometimes they do dry up. Here are my bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. I'm loving the Charlotte Tilbury Warm Tones Face Palette. Most importantly, it's long lasting. It doesn't really fade. And if you are into glossy, glowy look, then this is the product for you. The Beauty Light Wands are another of my favorites. No harsh glitter at all, just, you know, the right amount of shimmer. All you need is the tip of your finger to blend it out. In my opinion, Offer has one of the best highlighters, you guys. The pigment payoff and the luminosity is intense. Moving on to blushes, here's some pretty shades of pink and peaches by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Orgasm by NARS, which I like. These are my creamy pigments and I usually use them on the eyelids for a washed out effect or as a base. MAC Longwear Paint Pot, Surat Beauty Lid Lacquers, 
Dust of Colors Black Cream Liner. I really like this case. It's by Smasta. It stands straight up and it holds plenty of items like eyelash glue, tweezers, scissors, pencils, mascaras. And by the way, my favorite mascara right now, it's by Kat Von D, Go Big or Go Home. It has tons of volume, length, and it literally makes your lashes much thicker. Next is my lip kit and I deposited lipsticks into this view set uh, container and it was a long process, let me tell you. Mm. Okay, let's move to body. In this case, it's from Muji and it holds all of my body lotions. Loving Lancome Nutrix Royal Body Lotion. It doesn't feel sticky, it's light and it's not oily. Nail polish remover, just in case. For a shiny finish, Johnson's baby oil gel is great. We have Body Lava by Fenty. This is so pretty, high shine, very sparkly, and it's ideal to apply with the Kabuki brush. Burt's Bees Hand Slave, a little bit goes a long way. This keeps hands from drying out and cracking. All right, I'm opening my eyeshadows and brows kit. Lately, I've been uh, feeling those of colors palettes. The colors are highly pigmented and blend very well. This palette is from MAC. As you can see, I have a lot of natural earth tone colors because I haven't been really working on any creative colorful projects just yet. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pro Palette is basically my go-to palette. The powders are versatile, ranging from light to dark, and there is a perfect color for everyone. Last but not least, these are my brushes. I'm not gonna spend any time on them. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about doing a separate video in the future, so uh, watch out for that. That is it for today. I hope you guys liked the video. Most likely I'm gonna make another one about set bags. Uh, stay tuned for that. Hopefully that's gonna come out sooner than later. And if you have any question, ask away. I'm here. Hey, have nothing else to do. Ask and you will be given an answer. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button.